Dustin Poirier and Conor McGregor set to face each other for the third time at UFC 264. Dustin Poirier recently sent a message to Conor McGregor saying he wants to fight a welterweight for the trilogy. He posted this on his Twitter saying, Let's do it at 170 pounds. Three fights, three different weight classes. Conor McGregor responded back saying no. Dustin Poirier ended it off with the cat emoji. Conor McGregor recently ripped both Tony Ferguson and Justin Gaethje. He posted this on his Twitter saying, What the F guys, one of these fan pages put this up. I didn't know I ever took a pic with this dweeb. Back when I was tearing up the 145 division, I didn't even know who the F this Gakai even was. I'm at this game years man. Concrete block hands. Gakai and El Cockeye. Two 155 bums. Jake Paul recently sent a message to Dana White. He posted this on his Twitter saying, Dana, you claim you would bet $1 million on me losing. Set up Askren to train with Freddie Roach. Gave him full access to the UFC Performance Institute and he still got his ass handed to him. In my third fight, I made more money in total pay than any fighter in UFC history. Maybe it's time to pay your fighters their fair share. No wonder they all want to get into boxing. Dana, you say you make the fights the fans want to see. So hurry up and make John Jones versus Francis Ngannou. Pay them their fair share. $10 million plus for each guy plus pay-per-view. Why are UFC fighters so underpaid versus boxers? Why did I make more of my third fight than all but two Khabib Namagomedov and Conor McGregor UFC fighters have in history? I know why. Hey, still, hey, Hoy, you still the man, dog. Hey, Hoy, you still, Hoy, you still the man, dog. Hey, I love you, man. Good morning. What a beautiful day. What have we got on the agenda? Hmm? Some guitar, some, some computer. What are you? Can't be that clear. At UFC 261, Chris Weidman lost to Uriah Hall via TKO leg injury. He suffered the same injury caused Anderson Silva at UFC 168. He recently reacted to his horrific injury and gave a health update. What's going on, guys? <clears throat> I've seen uh, and I heard all love and support I'm getting. I haven't really been able to be on my phone too much. I can pain is pretty bad. <clears throat> so, I'm, I'm so uh, I think it's like 3.30 in the morning. I'm in, trying, they're trying to get me some more pain meds now. Um, <clears throat> I just want to let everybody know I, I'm so thankful for all the love and support. And I really do want to get back to you all. Um, I know Uriah Hole uh, was super classy and upset this happened uh, to me. And I really appreciate that. You know, Anderson Silva came out and said, you know, some real nice things. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty brutal, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get through this. Get through this. Um, I think it's gonna be eight weeks till I can walk without uh, crutches and stuff, um, and drive and all that. Uh, and then as far as like actually training, I don't know. They said between six and twelve months. I'll be good to go. Um, trying to find the uh, blessing in, in disguise, or the silver lining. <laughs> Honestly, as soon as it happened, when I hit the floor, I see what happened to my leg and the pain started hitting me. That's what I was trying to keep. I was just trying to put my mind on something positive that's going to come out of this. And, um, <clears throat> And uh, I'm, I'm hopeful that something is going to come out of it that's, that's good. But man, this is, uh, this, is, this is not fun. I can't believe it happened. 
because um, I, I just appreciate all my, my family, all my friends and my fans, everyone who's um, sending me prayers and well wishes. It means so much. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I, I'm sorry. I haven't been able to get back to people yet. Even text messages, I know I got like over 300 or some text messages. Um, <clears throat> I just can't be on the phone too long and, uh, with the pain and stuff. So, uh, um, surgery was successful. They put a steel, they put a titanium rod through the uh, tibia, so like, through the knee. They go through the knee and take the rod and they, I don't know, drill it through the tibia and make it straight and hard. My fibula was broken as well, but I guess when they put the tibia back together and my leg was straight, the tibia kind of matched back up to where it was broken. <clears throat> and they feel like that could heal on its own without, you know, as long as I'm not putting weight on it and stuff. So uh, I do think I'm gonna probably try to document this recovery from physical therapy and tons of physical therapy and stuff. And try to keep you guys involved because I, which I never really have done, but the amount of, um, outpouring love I got is insane. I want to keep you guys in the loop. What's going on? How I'm doing? Um, thank you so much, guys. I love you. I'm on, I'm obviously on my pain stuff right now, so uh, I don't know really how this, this video is going to turn out, but just saying, I love you guys and uh, thank you so much. There's so many people specifically I have to thank, um, but I just can't now. <laughs> Bye, guys. Tak dobrý ráno z Vegas. Forward, 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 forward,